Yo, yo, what's up, Gears here. The new hair patches are out. Let's see what's new. Okay, so right off the bat, we have the new hero, Cyborg Mok, Shun Ryo. I don't know if that's gonna be his English name as well, but for now, I'm just gonna call him the bald guy. <laughs> okay, so this bald guy has a 50% range damage party buff. And it's a light unit as well, ranged light unit. Okay, this might be the bane of my existence, but let's read what his abilities actually do. So I whipped up Google Translate right here, so um, we can both read his abilities together. So uh, for his normal attack, it says, fires a cheat that deals range damage to enemies. Okay, static electricity spins an orb to inflict range damage to nearby enemies, dispels negative effects, deals up to 6 damage. Okay. So I kind of saw the animation um, from the China server when he was first released. It, I think it's a very close range attack, but uh, the spell's negative effects is actually huge because um, it's gonna help a lot against like for uh, first core commander. I think uh, her effect only applies at the beginning of the match. I'm not sure if this will uh, if this will actually dispel her debuff permanently because uh, she doesn't really proc it in the middle of the match uh, apart from the beginning. So. I'm not sure though. Um, the text on that is a bit weird, but more than, um, other than that, you can also dispel something like Lilith Negation, for example. I mean uh, Lilith uh, Debuff. So units like Lilith, Carol, Camel, that debuff your defense, you can actually dispel that. Though this is not gonna be that big of a deal against units like Camel or units like uh, let's say Gabriel, because they actually uh, debuff you from every single attack. So yeah, it's not gonna be that helpful. It's gonna be useful against Illith though, because like if she hits you with the spike, you can actually just remove the debuff, and she cannot uh, debuff you again for a few seconds because uh, you know the spike has a cooldown. Uh, yeah, very good, uh, very good attacks. Let's see what else um, they actually do. Creates ice bullets around the target, dealing range damage equal to 375% DPS, and increasing critical strike multiplier by 50% for six seconds. So this one. Uh, looks like it's gonna be useful to use the chain skill immediately if you're running out of time. Uh, it actually increases his crit rate multiplier 50%, 6 seconds, actually uh, not bad. So, like, uh, if you're fighting a tank, for example, you get the chain skill, they still have half HP. Your next attacks are gonna deal uh, a lot more damage because 50% crit multiplier is actually quite huge. Uh, I'm gonna, I think this is gonna be helpful for raids as well, though the unit does not have a debuff. We'll see if, uh, if he actually gets it on the other parts of his kit increases your crit chance by 20% for 3 seconds on hit okay this is kind of the same this is literally the same thing as Arabel's uh, passive reduces damage taken during combat by 15% of course this is a uh, very good arena very good ability for arena and I don't like it though like the design of this like straight up damage reduction I don't really like it especially on a ranged unit ranged units are supposed to be squishy uh, especially if his attacks um, are passing through walls, which I assume it will. Reduces damage taken by additional 15% while using electromechanical. What the heck is electromechanical? Uh, is this. Yeah, I don't see electromechanical anywhere here, so it might be his weapon skill. I'm not sure though. Kinda doesn't make sense if it's a weapon skill. Yeah, we'll just see. Uh, the strength station is kinda weird. Let's see his exclusive weapon, so light attack, 3% uh, crit chance, skill damage 20%, defense 18, stamina HP is 18, it's HP. The final attack of Sension River, I think it's this, yeah, it's probably the normal attack. The final attack of Sension River Fist has been strengthened, increasing range defense by 3% on hit. Uh, I mean, I guess it got reversed. I'm assuming this is increasing range defense by 20% for 3 seconds on hit, so it's gonna be a good unit against uh, against other ranged units, I guess. I'm not sure though, it depends on his uh, stats. Attack 10% as the sub option, weapon skill regen speed. Ah, uh, never mind, this is the max limit break one. Weapon skill regen speed 20% is his uh, sub option, so. Actually, huge weapon skill regen speed here. I'm not sure if uh, his weapon skill can actually hit. I saw the animation on the Chinese server before as well, and it doesn't seem like it's gonna be easy to land his weapon skill. Though, yeah, we have to see. <laughs> we have to see for myself to make sure. 
so new basket no, nothing huge here just uh, additional collection i guess if you still haven't um, gotten that 10 percent basket bonus maybe this is gonna be good for you um so clara is gonna be get released on the jp server as well new illustration as well as new voice very nice uh floating novel oh i see this is a uh, the visual novel again similar to um, the one um starring sumire and the one starring karina i guess we're gonna see the bald guy <laughs> on the visual novels as well uh what's new season achievements okay so the new part of the season achievements are gonna be opened um guild arcade there's gonna be a new mini game which is really nice uh, don't really visit that uh, visit this that often but you know anything additional to do is gonna be good uh this one is actually huge guild raid with try opportunity increase so instead of one we can actually reset three times a day now which will make it which will make our guild raids more chill though maybe the higher ranking guilds will force you to get more damage i'm not sure though but yeah this is a very good thing if you mess up your raids which i always do because i suck at raids uh guild related improvements uh in addition to random searches it will improve the search in order of raid round okay I'm not really sure what that means but probably nothing major illustration related improvements so we can now see the ascended version of the characters here on the book which is a good improvement like i think it should have been implemented when ascension is implemented <laughs> but yeah better late than never i guess uh co-op this is gonna be yeah light damage so the new co-op is gonna be requiring us to use light units i see um new collection the bald guy's exclusive weapon uh yeah whale stuff what's this oh it's a road map i see uh new raid of course uh nothing new about that new costume for the bad guy very cool looking costume i think this one from ray is also new i think this uh, this was uh free on the chinese server if i'm not mistaken but the, yeah i think this costume came from the chinese server as well only 600 gems very very neat there uh yeah we do get a few uh, new weapon costumes i think this one is new and this one is definitely new i think yeah well that's gonna be all for this patch guys so overall nothing really major apart from the new hero i'm not sure if this uh if this new unit is actually gonna be good because um i mean he could be decent for arena he does have the damage reduction buffs which is always good to have on an arena unit and he also has a uh what do you call this he also has a way to remove debuffs which is also great though yeah um he does not have any debuffs uh any defense debuffs of any sort which is uh i think which i think is the most important thing in raids right now so uh yeah i'm not really that sure if this unit is gonna be used um on raids though light raid teams are still garbage especially um especially on the range side right now so yeah like <laughs> the bar is not really that high for light ranged units right now but i don't know man i don't really play raids so i'm not gonna uh don't trust me on that <laughs> anyway guys i hope you all enjoyed this video like and subscribe for more see y'all next time bye bye